so today, uh, what I'm going to show you is how to use Terraform to set up a Kubernetes deployment so we can use for uh, our, our use case. So we can use for basically a project uh, that we've taken from AWS blogs and we're going to modify it. Um, here it is right here. We're going to modify this so that we can make it a little bit more DevOps friendly. Um, but the first step in order to do that, uh, so this blog is all about uh, automating customer service experience for flight reservations using Lex. Um, so instead of uh, using this diagram exactly, it looks like uh, this particular diagram is just allowing us to you know, make reservations through the phone here, through the phone or through the chat bot uh, provided by Lex. Um, the only problem with that is, you know, it, it's not going to give us a good opportunity to really get into some DevOps related um, services uh, and tools. So I'm just going to help us create a front end application that we can deploy to Kubernetes, you know, do all the CI CD uh, you know, pipeline uh, setups, all that. But the first order of business is just going to be, you know, setting up the Kubernetes cluster. So what I have here is a, a Terraform uh, manifest that I'm going to deploy here in a second. Um, and it's going to get us set up and, uh, and I'm going to show us how to configure COPS so that it's, you know, available to start you know, deploying applications uh, against. So uh, so the first order of business, you know, with this Terraform deployment, uh, we have to define the providers. So the providers let us know it's a plugin that allows us to use particular clouds and to interact with their resources. So that's what the provider is. The region, uh, we're gonna be deploying in US East one. So that's what these are up here. Uh, the resources that we're going to be creating and some of the uh, statements inside of it. Uh, you know, we're creating it in instance. Uh, we're setting the type, uh, you know, the size of the instance. Uh, we're creating, uh, we're defining the AMI, so the Amazon uh, machine image. Uh, this is like a unique number it's associated with uh, with different types of images. Uh, we think we're using Ubuntu on this one. The key name, so that's SSH key. So that's a pair of uh, symmetrical keys. So that's a public key and a private key uh, that we need to SSH into the instance. And then the user data is a script that uh, basically it's a bash script that runs when the uh, instance is deployed to set up the environment. So that's what all this is here. And I'm gonna s provide a, uh, a GitHub link that uh, shares all this information. Um, but that's the heart of this particular setup. So, okay. Uh, so that's really not the most, uh, you know, it's not the difficult, most difficult part uh, of this particular setup. Most difficult part is just really just setting up cops. Um, in the first place. So let me just go ahead and start deploying everything here. Oh, okay. Let me apply this. Okay, so we're going to apply this. And it's going to start deploying. So the first thing I would just start to say about this uh, deployment is with COPS, what I found out was that to deploy COPS and to use it, you know, in a cluster, you know, it does require that you configure uh, a public hosted zone. So that's basically 
you have a public domain name that you're able to configure against this uh, this cluster. So you're going to basically configure a uh, a subdomain against your get your public domain. So what does that look like? That's basically over here. Where's my Route 53? Of course, I don't have it open here. Okay, let me duplicate this. Okay, so I'm just going to start by showing us Route 53. So that, that Kubernetes is already, I mean, that Terraform is already deployed. But the Route 53... The Route 53 here, so we need what's called a hosted zone. So I previously set this up. So hosted zone is just like a bucket that contains all of your DNS records. Um, so DNS records is a domain name service. So, um, so basically this is accessible online. So this, this, this points to a real live you know, web uh, IP address. And it's accessible, you know, online uh, through the web once I configure it. So, so SRE University, that you know, that's the domain, that's a public domain. And in order to configure this, I had to configure a subdomain, which is this K8S here. Okay, so that's gonna be the name of the cluster right here. So. This KAS. So this script basically is just bootstrapping uh, the cluster. So let's just see if it's actually spun up actually right now. And then we can kind of go more into it. Instances. Okay, so this COPS instance is, is, is still initializing, it says. Okay, so it's still initializing. So it's going back to what I mentioned about the setup for cops. The I guess the the cluster requires just a a public domain. So it, it require it requires a domain name, and so that's what we're configuring right here. It also requires an S three bucket. So an S three bucket here. Uh, that it's gonna basically contain all, so it's already created so that's good so that we we know that this s3 script I'm sorry this uh bash script is working because it's already creating uh the cluster and it's, it's loading up this bucket with the records because I, I I deleted it so look what time is it so it's eight o'clock so it just says eight o'clock right there look at that time is 802 so you know it's doing what we want it to do that's perfect it's good for this demonstration I'll tell you um so what it also does, the script or the cop setup, it's also going to set up um, some control planes. So with, with Kubernetes, so let me just run in here. So it's also setting up a control plane and nodes. So... So nodes and a control plane. So that that's what this is setting up right now. Uh, it may take a little longer to finish, but so it's just still maybe. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, so this is actually running right now. So let's actually connect and see. Uh, let, let's just try to connect and to see if this cluster is up and running here. Okay, so now we're in um, the instance, and let's see if COPS is installed. So we have COPS. See, that's installed. See, this is not installed by default. This is how we know that things are actually working. That's good. Uh, and let's see if those other 
Looks like we have a control plane up. Let's see if the nodes are actually up and running. Okay, the nodes are not up and running yet. Um, let's just see where we are in this process. So some of the um, let's see here. So some of the cluster actually. Uh, so these commands are actually still running in the background, um, and let's just kind of verify to see if that is the case to see if it's if the setup for cops is still running in the background or if we just need to go ahead and do it manually so I can just uh, conclude this presentation here um, see because what, what also the cops does it's it spins up some launch templates so the launch template is going to be um, it's just going to manage the uh, the instance so that you know, if the instance uh, falls down or if the instance you know goes uh, if it stops or anything like that it it manages the instance to make sure that it's it's always up and serving traffic so you know sometimes with these presentations you know you can do yeah, things run kind of smoothly, you know, when the camera's not rolling, but whenever it starts to roll, so there's something that you got to you know, fix. So, um, so we can actually just kind of run this command here. Uh, we can see if uh, uh, the cluster is up here. Let's see here. It's cops. Validate cluster. And then the name. And let's see something. And so the name is just going to be the name of the cluster. Okay, so we got to set the state actually. So the state is where the um, it's where the S three data is, is stored. So, I mean, it, it's it's the S three bucket where the configuration data is stored. So the state is going to be over here. So inside here, we want to get this config. Let's get the URI for the config. Let's see if this actually works. Okay. So what I want to do right here in this instance, I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, so again, this is this issue is not with the the EC2 launch. It's just kind of with the K, uh, the cops uh, setup. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to you know just get get to the point real quick. Let me go inside this cop state store. Let me just delete this particular. Uh, uh, the files associated with that uh, with this cluster and I'm just going to do it uh, manually by uh, entering this, the command in the shell so that's just going to just get us to that's just going to get us to where we need to be so this is kind of what you do in those instances so we just copy paste that so we're just exporting the name variable. So the name, uh, this uh, khsreuniversity.org, uh, that's just going to be the name of the cluster. And this uh, cop state store, that's just going to be the uh, the S3 bucket where everything is uh, being held. So we got those two defined. Now let's just go create the cluster. Okay, so this is all that would have been running. It, you know, it was running in the back end. Uh, so this is the the output you get when you're, you know, you're on the right path when setting up COPS. So it's telling us to finally configure your cluster with, you know, COPS update cluster. So let's do it like this. 
Just copy that command there. Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit of a, a little moment to actually get up and running. Uh, last time I did this was about five, 10 minutes. Uh, so, hey, we're back. We'll, I had to edit the video a little bit uh, because I realized I had an issue with the, the deployment. And the issue was, uh, it was a DNS related issue. Uh, and what I mean by that was, so I'm using Terraform to kind of, you know, destroy and then build back up infrastructure. And each time I'm doing that, I'm actually um, destroying and creating a new Elastic IP address. So basically, Elastic IP address is just an IP address that doesn't change when an instance actually uh, gets stopped. But in this case... You know, it did. And the reason why that was important was because, you know, before I started everything, I actually did the DNS configuration beforehand and I configured an elastic IP address with the domain name of the, the K8S.SRUniversity.com. I've already taken that down and I just kind of created a new domain. And uh, so I just created a new domain. So the Cloud Shepherd SRUniversity.org. And I added a new IP address. So basically, you know, uh, when you do use COPS, you just want to make sure that your you know, your DNS is, is good. Uh, you know, if you start getting timeouts, and when, you, when you get timeouts, you just want to start thinking, okay, hey, what, why is this timing out? So it's like a connectivity issue most times. So long story short, um, I was able to get the cluster up and running. So, you know, here's kind of, here's kind of the messages you, you end up seeing. Uh, so... Cloud Shepherd, you know, when you validate the cluster, it just it takes a while to initialize. So you see these messages related to pending. And so these are absolutely normal messages. But before I wasn't getting any of these messages because you know the the static IP st associated with that other domain was was just, I didn't update it. So uh, so long story short, um, so you you will see when you're using COPS to validate the cluster, you will just see you know great messages. And you know you you know that you know your domain is actually you know configured correctly. You know when you are using cops, when you do you know see these messages. So slowly by slowly the messages go away, and we eventually see that you know the cluster comes up and running. So so look, it says your cluster, the cloud shepherd that sruniversity.org is ready. So listen, we made a good uh, COPS configuration and uh, hey, this is the first stage to actually, you know, getting the project underway. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Be happy to answer them and uh, look forward to replying to your comments and just, uh, you know, creating a community. Thank you and have a good day.